All right, you guys, Erica coming to you from Austin Action Fest. We've got best feature and best action actress here for Echo 8 at Austin Action Fest. Okay, so you just got the news, yeah. best feature, best uh, action actress. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Tell everybody. We're feeling amazing. This is actually the first time we're in Austin, Texas. Oh, So it's been, what? we just flew in and then we just heard the news and we're so excited because we're from Australia and also Vegas and we heard so much about the festival. Cool. We know all the people in Australia, whenever they make an action film, they want to submit it to this festival. Awesome. So this is going to be great news for us. I love From the it. country, of all the independent filmmakers there as well. So. Wicked. All right. All right. So we got we got international stars over here, you guys. Uh, and we're international. That is one of the things people, I don't think, mm. when they think about movies, they do not understand what an amazing market there is for international films. Whether it's um, in English, it's dubbed from another country, things like that. What would you say, coming from Australia, okay? Like, what would you say is like a unique perspective um, on action filmmaking from Australia? Is it harder, is it easier? Do you have any idea? You said, are you from Vegas? You said Australia and Vegas. Oh, well, now we're so, in Vegas. Yeah, now we, we based, oh. now we're based in Vegas but right now. But the film now. we made was from Australia. Okay, yeah. so so you've got a little bit of a taste of both. Okay, so speak to the difference between making a film here and making a film in Australia. So we still very new in Las Vegas. We okay. moved here when maybe, we, let's say, one and a half a year. Okay. Yeah, and then, right. then the whole this production happened in, we started three years ago, the Echo 8. Okay. And then we just shoot everything and then locked down because of due to the COVID ah. and then the post-production. It took a long, long time. Yeah. So we really, really appreciate this opportunity. So actually, this is the second time screening in America. Oh. Yeah, the first time in right. last month we have a Nevada uh, Women's Film Festival and this all is the right. second time, finally we got a second chance. Yeah. All right, all right. So, Echo. so industry difference, American tool. Oh, yeah. Like, personally, I think that, you know what, action is universal. Mm. We always told that, oh, action is just lowbrow, you know, who cares? But then I feel like it, cu uh, it cuts across different countries. And you know what, what I love? I want to see strong women in front of the camera. That's right. You know what I mean? That's so right. So that's why it was so important to make Echo White. But not only that, a family story too yeah you know, something that has a bit of heart meaning so that's what we wanted to make an indie film and you know we can't wait for a studio to make our films Ooh. we did a low budget eight thousand dollars us for a feature film 14 day shoot what we had to be in front of the camera behind the camera editing doing the action and figuring all out of the it shots. so all of it that's the beauty about indie that's filmmakers. independent film mm. that's what i loved it i saw when i saw you guys first walk up and you just like picked up the swords and you guys are like <laughs> wielding it i was like okay these these people are not just actors. These people know what's up. They are wielding those uh, those weapons like bosses. We're gonna have to edit in the the B-roll of this. <laughs> editing me, editing Benjamin. You gotta cut that in there, uh, because when you are an independent filmmaker, it really is. You're you're writing, you're directing, you're producing, you're you're acting, you're doing the stunts, or you know some mixture of that. And you did this for eight thousand yeah. dollars. What? Yeah, it was all community driven. So a lot of the actors, non-actors. A lot of the people volunteered their locations. You know, uh, a lot of the martial arts dojos would have people come and offer them to be themselves to be the bodies in the film. All right, all but pretty right. Pretty much what we realized was that this is people power film. You know, it's not studio systems, not someone who's got a lot of money saying, I want to make films. It's like, no, we're, we're take, giving it back to the community. I love that. Mm. I love that. And I love, too, that you said action is universal. Mm. So one of the things that we have found, and, I'm, and I've talked to filmmakers about this, a lot of the film festivals are really more about drama or, like, they want movies that make you cry or whatever. And so action does not get the shine that it. I think it really should yeah. because it's my favorite stuff. And think about all the old kung fu movies, all the mm. old action movies, all the anime and things that are dubbed mm. that um, 
you can't even speak the language half the time you don't even know what's happening but you recognize some ass kicking when you see it a hundred percent and you know what's great about this festival it, it recognizes that because we've put our film in so many festivals and a lot of people are like oh we don't do action what? you know what i mean see this so is what this i'm is saying the only platform we have and the fact that there's it's such a huge genre globally this should this festival should be going national. That's what oh I think, my gosh! You know? Well, you know, hey, 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 holler, Just saying. holler. Okay, Austin Action Fest and Market. That's actually really our goal, mm -hmm. right? Because Benjamin will tell you the the festival director. He did when he was growing up. He did not see people that looked like him in films, and he really wanted to. That's why he started his film production company, and that's why we've got Austin Action Fest and and market so you also have the problem of all these folks who are super talented on screen behind the camera at editing and doing those things but they don't learn the business part they don't know how to market themselves they don't know how to get distributed mm -hmm. and so that's one of the big things that we're pushing for is distribution deals making sure that that creators have that space to get together and collaborate so that is amazing. I mean, that's fantastic because a lot of times we're the makers. We just want to make stuff, blow things up, and, and we have all the action. But we never think about the longevity of whether we can actually replicate it or if there's actually a career trajectory into making bigger stuff. Because, But to be honest with you, I always want to do action films in independent cinema. Because, you know, we have more control. We ha we can tell the little stories. You know, and we can have that. people who are non-actors in it. We have so many people in Australia who've been a part of it now doing TV series. What? It's their, their break. Their break, and they've never done acting before. You oh know what gosh. I mean? Well, and yeah. that's what, rather than um, relying on the big studios mm. to be like, oh, you and you, and especially now that all the, you know, I mean, I hate to go there, you guys, but all the corruption and the kind of grossness that has come out of what, of Hollywood the last few years and the way that we see people being manipulated and taken advantage of, independent films are where it's at, you guys. Yeah. We, you, we're, you were not beholden to some major Hollywood production yeah. that you had to, you know, bend over backwards to. A hundred percent. And many years ago, I had like being told that I needed to do certain things to be in the industry. Mm. And I said to, I remember saying to the producer, "No, I'm a, I'm a, my own filmmaker." And he was like, "No, you're not going to make it." And I was like, "You know, I'm adamant." to put women on screen and you know if I have to learn how to do stuff behind the screen I, I will and I'm lucky to have my husband who's also does the action he's a pretty badass on screen oh my God. on screen yeah, on screen yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we work together and I think that's the thing with independent cinema we need to treat everyone like a family yeah, when and they're also, making it. what we want to try to do is uh, more accessible to anyone who really mm. loved the film. So what happened in like a lot of people, like you know, who we maybe lawyer or like a doctor, <laughs> but actually we wanted to do acting for a long time. All right, join, come in on in, you know, join, and then in the, in the film, you know, even yeah. smaller, it doesn't matter. And we can help you to you know facilitate you, help you to like a so community based. It means more accessible. Yes, for the making of film. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and I think that's what so many people so many um, creative people I'll speak for myself I I was a creative person I went to college for accounting and I did accounting for years and I was like oh it's the safe thing to do you know it's reasonable you gotta have a job and like because being a creator can be scary Oh, Putting yeah. yourself on the line can be scary. And so, so many people give up on their dreams and then end up later in life really regretting not going after that. So the fact that you were roping people into that, I think is really magical. Yeah. And it shows on screen. Yeah. Like it showed, obviously, cause you won. Oh, thank Best you. Best feature. But you know what, we're so glad that we're able to be here, like in like Austin, because I know a lot of our people, when they watch us, they go, oh, we won, you guys are there representing us. So the people who have made it all the way in Australia are really rooting for us and going, they're, they're feeling the love as well. So thank uh, you so much. Much, I know. love it. Oh yeah. my gosh. Okay, this is so exciting. Also, she's wearing the most fabulous shoes. I'm sure you cannot see it in the frame. 
do I don't Colton, do any action in this. Give, it's not very give her, practical. Can we get her shoes? <laughs> Look at those shoes. Look at how yeah. cute those are. <laughs> now, she was not wearing those in the film. No. No. Because you practical. can't. No. It's really not. When I, <laughs> okay. I mean, it's funny. I've done action overseas, and I remember the directors. Okay, we're going to get you in stilettos. I'm like, you know, I can't fight in this, but it just looks cool. I'm like... Uh, to you, <laughs> you but it's so impractical nobody would actually do that in real life that's what i'm like i'm wearing sneakers all day okay i got i gotta stand all day i'm not going to anyway i'm di totally digressing okay so y your film is in the circuit right now is can people go other than getting an online ticket to austin action fest is there anywhere people can go see it right now where they can go see the trailer? Oh, yeah. Where can they see it? They can go to echoatmovie.com. So Echo that's where all of this stuff. And then we've got a Facebook group that, that you can follow the journey. Because we're currently at the moment writing uh, the prequel and the sequel. Oh. And it's due in about a month's time. <gasps> Ooh. So we're trying to move along because we realize we can't wait. We can't wait for someone to, here's some money, go make it. We're like, you know what? We're going to repeat the process and show you it's not a fluke. Yeah. Because there's been people going, oh, you've, it's, it's been a fluke. You've just made it as a, you got lucky there. $8,000, you got lucky. You know, we can do three, two more films and no. we'll show you. So I love that. To, you know? I but love independent that. Independent cinema. I yeah, love it. Also, we currently working on a distribution process at the moment. Okay. And then uh, hopefully towards the end of this year, something we might happen that'll be great. But we we working hard. All but right. That, but it's interesting in distribution as well because we've been doing research. There's a lot of sharks out there. We've noticed as well. <laughs> so we've actually decided to you know well, let's look at self distribution. Put it back to the pe people. Yeah, we've been given deals and like, nah, this doesn't look right. Like, you know what I mean? I we literally just got done having uh, one of our panels with a scripty, uh, a writing, uh, a, a writer and a, a person who helps with scripts, and it is one of the things that with the with the with the screen act the SAG. Um, uh, Oh my gosh, you guys! My brain. I'm just so excited. No, no. The yeah, yeah. the strikes. Yes. Okay, yeah, so yeah. the SAG strike, the writer strike. The market is changing, you guys. It is it is not locked down anymore, and people are seeing that there are opportunities and changes that we can really take advantage of. We are not again. We're not beholden. You're not beholden to Hollywood. Yes. You don't have to make back hundreds of millions of exactly. dollars to pay off your investors. Oh. You know, you could like imagine what you could do if somebody had fifty thousand dollars after what you were able to do with this budget yeah. if somebody had fifty thousand dollars even a hundred thousand dollars what they could make back what you could make back by distributing yourself yeah. on the all of the various platforms that are actually available to us now mm -hmm. as independent filmmakers yeah. and I think where it's interesting because indie indie filmmakers where it's a bit of a rise of the independent filmmakers once they have the confidence to know that all the things they've done on the ground is now needed because now you can make films in your own hands and yes it is rivaling the system because the system's afraid because sometimes they need to make one thing and they can't sometimes make it right even though they've got a huge amount of money you're like where did that money go into right look at what yeah. is it in the, uh, the new Indiana Jones movie they made it for like 250 million dollars they have to earn back like 600 million dollars to number one pay back their investors pay for distribution uh, 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 all of the uh, back end stuff that they have to deal with so um, that is an enormous amount of money that you're responsible for oh, yeah and for what like when there's other movies out there that are being made for 15 million mm. a million a hundred thousand dollars that look amazing and can get the eyes mm. that will draw people to the screen oh yeah and i have to admit even for me like there has always been that issue because sometimes i get hired into the system but there's always like oh but you make little films oh and there's you always cute? it's always pushing you down putting you down so that you can actually f you feel like you need them but then you have to always go wait a minute you need me. You're the one hiring me. So I need to really think about the situation and not be afraid to speak my own voice. Oh, I love that. Because when we get in, they, they will sometimes put fear in you. Go, oh, you know, if you want to be in with the boys club, you got to be able to say yes to this and that and say, you know, and but then you don't want to lie. You don't want to have 
you know, not the integrity of what you do, because that's what you've been doing independently, right? So if something's not good, if a script's not good, you got to say, it's not good. Whereas I think in the uh, the system, the script might be terrible, but everyone's going around going, great job. Everyone's giving, going around putting a pat on each other's yeah. back. And you're like, why are they spending so much money doing lots of like development and writing? And you're like, but it's still bad. Yeah. Am, am I the only one that yeah, knows no. this? Oh, you had, you had 40 writers and your movie still sucked. <laughs> wow. Writers, yeah. How do you yeah. do that? Yeah. Uh, that it's, uh, you nailed it. You totally nailed it right there. Okay. So where can, okay. So tell everybody, uh, and I'm having everyone spell their name, spell everything for people. Where can they find you individually? If they want to hire you, if they want to get in on investing in your film, like yeah. what is, so echo eight movie.com yep. is where they can follow this project. Yeah. But where do they find you guys? They you can just find us, Maria Tran, Takashi Hara. Find us, reach out to us. We love to connect with more people. We really want to make the prop, even if your filmmaker is wanting to know how we did it, we're happy to share. So, like yeah. Instagram, do you have a Gmail? Yep. Like, Instagram, tell them where to go uh, find Facebook, you. Facebook, uh, Maria Tran, well, just find Google Maria that's, Tran. That's, Action film uh, that's girl, easy. that's my thing. So, okay. you, they can find me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For me, takashihara.co. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All so right. We're right there. We're online. So, reach out, Ooh. get to know us. We want you to make stuff. We want people to participate in filmmaking. We want to make sure that people get a chance to tell the stories they want to tell. Ah, I love it. Okay. Okay. So this is the question I've been asking everybody. Yeah. If you could go back and tell the you that got started in film, like if you today got to, got to use the dial of destiny, since we're calling them out for being suckers. Um, if you got to go back and tell past you one piece of advice, what would it be? That's a really, really good question, and something I, I'm very emotional now. Yeah, uh, make me a bit, a bit emotional. Good. Yeah. Um, oh, good. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I still remember even for the really toughest moment when we filming. I, I, when I was filming on set every day, mm -hmm. I was imagining the day like today. So we won. We will win. We will win, or something, even no win, but we make sure we finish the project and then the audience can watch our film. So that's the main aim, and that's our responsibility as a director and a producer. So that's only thing. So I just want to say to him, and I say to you, I mean, the past you, oh, thank you. you guys did a good job. <laughs> just trust yourself. That's it. Oh, he's my ah, husband, by the way. <laughs> yes, yes. No, that's what. But that was another theme that we've been talking about. You have to have people who love you and support you and will be there for you. And so the fact that you guys get to do this together, it's so magical. It is so magical when you have the not only the passion and the drive, but you have someone. Like I remember when Benjamin and I got together, mm. okay, when we started dating, he was like, I need you to understand something. And I was <laughs> like, okay. You know, and I'm the accountant, like, right, and I'm like, oh, rigid, everything by the numbers. Oh, I'm a, you know, robot person. Um, he was like, I'm never gonna have a normal job. Um, I'm not gonna be the guy with the uh, nine to five mm. doing whatever. If you want to be with me, it is not going to be safe. I'm always going to protect you. I'm always going to love you. But if you want someone who is going to, you know, have the the regular 401k or whatever, like I am not your guy. And I remember being like, <laughs> I love that look. Okay, I don't really understand what that date? means. <laughs> Basically, oh, wow. like pretty much. And, and I just remember thinking like, okay, that's interesting. Mm. That's an interesting thing to say. And, and so over the years, I, I began to understand what that meant. Then, you know, he encouraged me to start my own business and I became an entrepreneur. You know, I got out of the nine to five job. I started my own business. Um, and that was as a, as a security oriented person, right? As an accountant, my job is to look for risk and to assess risk yeah. and to like, no, we got to mitigate, we got to do whatever. And so for, me like to go okay 
I'm going to take this leap with you because I, I see the vision. You have cast the vision. You have shown me what it's going to look like. I understand that this is a marathon and not a sprint, right? So if I had to tell old me uh, or former me from now, it's exactly what you said. Yeah. Trust each other. Oh, yeah. Trust the process. Remember that you are on the same team, right? And as long as you remember that, like that is the most important thing because there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be stress. There's going to be times where we're like, oh crap, you got to do some DoorDash this weekend. Yeah. We got a bill to pay. Oh crap, wait, <laughs> I need to go get a new client. We got to like yeah, do yeah. some stuff. Yeah. But if you when you cast mm. that vision and you know that you're on the same mm. team you are unstoppable yeah and so it just goes to show with the wind tonight and thank you both so much oh, for being thank here you so all right much. i love thank it you. all right bye guys